Hello, my name is Anshika and welcome to my course, Part 4, Configuring Azure Cognitive Search with Blob Storage. So in the previous session, we have talked about the basics of Blob Storage. We have examined the various features of Blob Storage, what are the different kinds of Blobs and what are the access tiers available in Blob. And after that, we have learned about how to create an Azure storage account and how to upload and download the various blob files. And in this session, we will learn about what is an index, what is an indexer and its use, how to import data from the blob storage to the Azure Cognitive Search. And after that, we will learn how to create an indexer. Firstly, let's look into the various terminologies that will be used while creating the Azure Search and after that, we will look how the Azure search can be created with blob storage. First, let's talk about what is an index. You can probably think of indexes in a database where searching these specific columns can be made easier by applying an index on that. An Azure search index is made up of fields and each entity in the index is a document like a record in a database. There are a lot of configuration options that are available for an index like searching, sorting and filtering. And we will see these options later in the demo. A document is a single unit of searchable data in your index. Now let's talk about what are indexers. An indexer in Azure Cognitive Search is used to extract the searchable data and metadata from an external Azure data source. There are two models that impact this the pull model and the push model. In push model, you push the data into the indexer manually, which means that you are populating the indexer with the information that can later be searched. And the second is the pull model. In pull model, we use the indexer to pull data from the supported data sources within the Azure. An indexer creates a service that pulls the data from the various data sources without having to write any code that adds the data to an index. Indexers can connect to various data sources like SQL Server on Azure, Cosmos DB, Azure Table Storage and Blob Storage. You can run indexers on demand or on a recurring basis like you want to execute it after every 5 minutes. Indexer can search anything inside the document you upload as well. And now let's go to the portal and see how to create an index, indexer and learn how to search the data from the documents. Now I have logged into the Azure portal. In the previous sessions, we have created a storage account with the name Anshika Storage and also we have created a search service with the name Anshika Service. Now we need to create an index, so we need to go to the Anshika Service. On the overview blade, there is a tab that shows the indexes that belongs to the service, but we haven't created any yet. And there is an another tab that shows the indexers that are executable processes that you can put on a schedule for the data sources defined by the indexes. Now let's create a new index and connect it to the Azure Blob Storage account that we have created earlier. And we will be using the pull model to get the schema and data from the index. We can do this from the import button at the top and that will open up a blade and there will be an option to choose the data source. We can choose either of the data sources available and we will go with Azure Blob Storage. And now let's give data source a name. For example, test data source. Next we have is the data to extract option. We can either choose the content and metadata or all metadata option. We will go with the default content and metadata option. Next we have is the passing mode. If you know that your data is in particular format, for example, text or JSON format, you can choose that, otherwise go with the default. Next we need to choose a connection string for the index. So we will choose an existing connection string. We will choose Anshika storage as a storage account and we will select the doc files as the container and click on select. 
Next we have is the blob folder. If you want to further scope this index, then we can write the folder name as well. And now let's click on the next option. Here we see that the index schema is successfully detected. Next is the cognitive skills tab. Cognitive skills are basically used to add the artificial intelligence to the indexing process. We can attach the cognitive services from here and we will go with default. And next is the add enrichment option. We can enable these options if you want to extract the people name, organization name or the location name from the documents. So we will enable all of them. And now let's click on next. We are on the customized target index tab. Customized target index tab is basically used to review the schema that was created when the Azure search read the source data and we can add or remove feeds from here. So firstly, we need to give the index a name and after that we can add or remove fields from here. We have the content type field here. This field is basically used to hold the text that gets extracted from all the different types of files in the container. And we can mark this field as filterable so we can filter the data from the query. We can also mark this field as sortable and facetable. So we can make them as category and build our interface so the user can see how many results belong to that category or the facet. Searchable field is basically used to make the field as searchable. And now let's talk about what an analyzer. An analyzer is a component of full text search engine responsible for processing text in your query string and index document. And there are many language analyzers also available. For example, if you have the documents which are in Spanish language, you can choose Spanish Lucene or Spanish Microsoft as an analyzer. Language analyzer process text using the linguistic rules in order to improve the search quality. Standard Lucene analyzer is basically the default analyzer and this general purpose analyzer performs well for most of the languages and scenario. So we will go with the default option. And now let's click on next. Since we have done the enough configuration, now we need to create an indexer. An indexer is basically a scheduler that will refresh all the documents in the index means it will pick up the changes in the new documents in the blob container and add them to the index. So we'll go with the once option and now let's click on the submit button. Now importing the data, creating the index and creating an indexer will take a while. Now the index and the indexer are successfully created. On the index tab, we can see that the index name, document count and the storage size are present. While on the indexer tab, we can see that all the documents are successfully loaded. Now that we have already created the index and the indexer on the portal, in the next session, we will learn about how to search the text from the uploaded documents on the Azure portal. So in this session, we have learned about what is an index, what is an indexer and its use, how we can import the data from the blob storage into the Azure Cognitive Search. After that, we have learned about how to create an index and the indexer on the Azure portal. Thank you and in case of any questions, please comment.